same piece of paper falls quickly to the ground. Ah, there it goes. The airplane is a glider with a motor-driven propeller that cuts into the air and pulls it forward. Its weight is lifted and supported by the air moving rapidly past its wings. From the boys who build and fly model planes have come the men who build and fly the great giants that ride in the sea of air that fills the sky. surely would taste good. Big Bill's hot dog stand is right across the way. Big Bill, you see, was a pilot during the war and just cannot seem to keep away from planes. out of that bottle without letting in some air. And you, John, you think you're sucking that chocolate milk up that straw all by yourself. But that isn't quite it. Actually, the pressure of the air on the milk in the bottle is helping to push the milk up the straw. weight and exerts pressure? Well, Big Bill will show you. First, a piece of wood. Then an ordinary newspaper on top of it. That ought to be easy to knock off the table. Hmm, not so easy. But why? Because the air resting on that newspaper weighs more than four and one-half tons, 9,000 pounds. Try it again. Ah, easy does it. Big Bill presses slowly and the air has time to flow in under the paper and pushes up as well as down. Bill has found that air is a real thing and that it presses down and around everything with a great weight or force. Usually, we don't feel this weight and pressure when the air is still because we're used to it. Yes, air is very real, Bill. You're not only riding through it right now, you're even riding on it, the air in your bike tires. Well, Dad seems to be having his own experience with air today looking for a leak in the tire tube. The pump pushes the air into the tube under pressure. Pressure that pushes out in all directions. Pressure enough to support the weight of an automobile. Because the pressure inside the tube is greater than on the outside, the air forces its way out through any tiny holes or punctures. The air is lighter than the water, so we can see where the puncture is from the air bubbles which rise to the top of the water. You've had quite a day, Bill. From the time you took your first deep breath, you pushed through a great sea of air, a great sea of air that presses against things as a heavy weight, that fills the sky supporting things that fly. You couldn't see the air itself, but you could see that it occupied space from the air bubbles that left the glass. In motion as wind, you saw it blow the trees, push the sailboat, and do other useful work for man. Do you remember this morning, Bill? It wasn't ghosts. It was nothing but air. 